University of Kentucky doctoral student in food engineering, Francis Agbali, sketches out a design for the construction of a wind turbine that introduces forced air in a solar dryer that will increase drying and moisture rates and hopefully reduce the incidence of aflatoxin contamination, which causes stunted growth in children, liver cancer, immune suppression, and even death. Agbali says he believes the design of the system will work. We are quite convinced, very much convinced, that the design we have is a potential um, um, solution to the problems of aeration in drying of grains. And I also think that from all we have seen so far, we, it, might, it might be able to serve even beyond grains. A design team from the University of Kentucky that Ag Bali is a part of was awarded a grant from the Environmental Protection Agency's 14th Annual People, Prosperity and the Planet, or P3 Awards. The grant competition is to design solutions that address real-world environmental and public health challenges and earn the team a chance to showcase their design in Washington, D.C. at the National Sustainable Design Competition. The principal investigator on the project is UK food engineering professor Bodhi Adedeji. It gives them uh, a sense of accomplishment that uh, they are contributing to solving a very critical problem uh, that is impacting life, lives of people in, you know, in uh, faraway places. This is a prototype of the system that Agbali and other members of the team designed for drying grain using a wind turbine made from cheap and affordable materials with a variable gear system to harness wind energy for forced air generation. Agbali, who is from Nigeria, sees the project as an opportunity to really change people's lives. It's one time in the whole of my career where I have the, op the opportunity to be relating with something that is not just for the shelf, but has the potential of saving lives, has the potential of addressing a real life uh, situation. The inability to dry grain is an issue in developing countries like Sub-Saharan Africa and is estimated that about $1.2 billion is lost in global commerce due to aflatoxin contamination because of market reject of their grains. From the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture, Food and Environment, I'm Jeff Franklin reporting.